In this video, we're going to take a look at multi-body properties for our Autodesk Inventor environment. So here I have multi-body properties, IPT, from our working file set. And if I examine this, I have two solid bodies in here, solid one and solid four. Now, solid four was utilized to create a combine to remove an internal tool body from this casting. And when you do that, it immediately turns off the tool body from being visible. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist anymore, it's just not able to be seen. So to turn it back on, we can toggle different visibility states of our bodies. We can simply right click on them and toggle on the visibility. We can tell it to show all. We can tell it to hide everything except the one we're right clicking on. And we can also go to properties to change its color and appearance. For now, I'll simply turn on the visibility of Solid 4. I'll turn off the visibility of Solid 1. If I right click on Solid 1, I can do the show all. If I right click on Solid 4 and say hide others, it does the opposite. Now that I'm looking at Solid 4, I'd like to give it a different name than just Solid 4. So I'm going to do a soft double click on here and call this one Core. And soft double click on Solid 1 and call that Casting. Now, there's some information I'd like to get out of the core. I'm going to right click on it and go to properties. And here I can actually look at the mass of that core, the area, and the volume that that core takes up. I can look at the center of gravity and change the color appearance to something else. Now, what is the mass based on? Well, it's based on the overriding material inside of this file, which is currently generic. If I were to change the material to something else, then I could essentially get updated mass properties, but it does it for the casting as well. So you can't have different materials inside of the same multi-body part file. You have to wait until they're separated out into separate IPTs to assign different materials to them. If you do it here, it's only to do a quick check about mass, area, and volume. I'll choose OK. Now there are also some settings that can govern your defaults for multi-body tools. If I go to my Tools tab, Document Settings, on the Modeling tab, I can control how my initial solid bodies behave as well as my surface bodies. So I can change, instead of solid for a solid body, I can change it to Part 1 or Part 2. Or if I'm working on a long-term project and I want a prefix of a project number on, I could do that as well. I'm going to close this box. Now, if we were first looking at this design, we'd never been here before, and we want to examine what makes up this particular solid. So if I expand the core at the top, I will see a list of all the features that were generated to help create the core. The same thing with casting. 